everybody, uh, my name is Laura Cape uh, from Lovely Brown Yoga and I'm going to be taking you through today a 30 minute power flow. I'm so happy that you're joining me today. Um, this class is for all levels, however we will be challenging our bodies with a little bit more faster movement than maybe some more gentle yoga classes. We'll be doing a full body run down, going through some flexibility stretches but also some high intensity moves. So when you're ready, come and join me on the mat. We're going to be cross-legged, roll the shoulders back, back of the hands onto your knees, palms facing up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in through your nose, and a big sigh through your mouth, closing your eyes, beginning to roll the shoulders back, lift your heart space, your spine is lovely and straight, all the muscles in the face lower jaw is released. Imagine someone has a piece of string and they're pulling the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, letting your shoulders just be heavy and your arms just released onto your thighs. Bringing your awareness now into your breath. And just watching the breath. Watching the movements from your belly and chest. And just coming into the present moment. So forgetting anything that has happened after the class, just something that happened before the class. And I know that is important right now. All that is important is that you are here with us and you're listening to your breath and you're finding a connection between your mind. Take another few of the deepest breaths of the day. And then when you're ready, let's press the eyes open, roll the shoulders back, taking hold of the knees, pull open the heart, and then begin to roll your neck, snaking some circles of the neck side to side, up and down, gentle movements, feeling of the shoulders away from the neck. And back to centre, big inhale, lift your arms all the way up to the sky, interlace the hands, pressing the palms up towards the ceiling, look up. And exhale round through the spine, draw your belly button, draw your chin to chest, press your hands away from you. And then inhale, rise yourself all the way up, look to the ceiling. Exhale round. One more time, big inhale. And release the hands away from you. Well done. Take your left hand and place it over to the right knee or your right thigh. Right arm's going to lift up and over, gently bending through that right side body. If it's okay for the neck, look up towards the ceiling. If not, just gently drop the head to the floor. Deep belly breath. Well then, take the right hand and then place it behind you, pressing the left hand to the right thigh. Deep breaths, breathing. Gently twist yourself all the way back to centre. Left hand now is going to take the um, right hand's going to take the left knee, and then that left hand's going to lift all the way up and over. So just be, being very gentle, not to overextend. So if your knee is, in, is too far away, place the hand to your left thigh. Deep breath. Well done. Left hand behind you, twisting all the way round. Well done. Coming all the way back to centre, placing the feet out in front of you, hands just slightly in front of the glutes, roll the shoulders back, keep your spine nice and straight, start to pick up your legs. From here you're going to place the fingertips to your temples, we're going to drop our right leg to the floor, lift up and then our left leg down, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, you've got it. Two, and one, pressing the feet to the floor, take hold under the knees, inhale, arch your back, exhale, round through the spine, draw the chin to chest. Well then, crossing the feet over, coming onto your hands and knees. Spread the fingers nice and wide underneath shoulders, knees hip distance apart. 
Take an inhale, arch the back, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round through the spine, hug your back out, lift your belly button. Inhale, left. One more time. Big inhale. And exhale, round through the arch. Round through the belly button. From here, very slowly, placing the hands to the top of the mat. Chest comes all the way down to the floor. If you can, touch the chin down, but if that's not okay, you can place your forehead to the floor. Keep reaching your arms as far forward as you can. Taking that right hand now, sending it through to your left side. Relax the right side of head to floor. Look under the left armpit, deep belly breath. Well done, placing the right hand back to the floor, chest comes down. Left hand now comes all the way up to the right side, looking under that right armpit, keep breathing. Well done, left hand back to the floor and puppy. You're going to tuck the toes, look forward between the hands, send your weight forward into a low plank position. You're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower your hips to the floor, come down into your stance pose. So elbows underneath the shoulders, roll the chin, look up towards the ceiling. Well done, release down, tuck the toes, rise back to your plank position. Left forearm pivot, so we come onto the left side. We reach our right thumb up into a low side plank. With our left hip, we're going to lower the hip to the floor and rise. Seven, six, five, stay strong. Straight over to the right side, so pivot the body so we're on our right arm, lift the left arm up. When you're ready, drop the right hip and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, come back to the forearms and then lower the hips down back into your stance pose. Well done, everybody. Take a few deep breaths. And then roll yourself all the way back up into a tabletop position. Well done, guys. So coming over to your right leg, we're extending it behind us. Flex the foot, draw your belly in. We're going to tap the foot to the floor and then lift up. Ten times. Nine. Flex the foot. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. And one, hold it there, tuck your left toe, an option to keep the left knee on the floor or a little bit of challenge, lift the left knee. We're going to draw the right knee to chest and extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, keep the back straight, two, and one. Lift up three-legged down dog. Well done. Press the left heel to the floor. Open and step the hips as much as you can. Deep breaths. With your right knee, we're going to draw in. So right elbow, left elbow. Inhale, lift five times. Right, left, and left. Well done. Three. Two. And last one. Step it back, downward facing dog. Well done, everybody. Let's just start to breathe and move into our first down dog. Press the chest back towards the thighs. Encourage the heels down, lift up on your kneecaps. Hold and breathe. And then coming through vinyasa, so roll yourself forward into a plank position. Lower chaturanga. Flip the toes, upward facing dog. And then big tug of the toes. Downward. Inhale, roll yourself forward, back into a tabletop. Well done, guys. So just adjust yourself, take a few breaths, prepare yourself for the other side. So extending through that left leg now, flex the foot and then touch the toe down. Inhale, lift. Five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now keep that leg high. Either keep the right knee to the floor or lift it off and crunch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let the lift up. Three legged dog. Well then press open through that right side. And then gently from here with your left knee, let's crunch over. Left elbow, right elbow. Inhale. Four. Three. Well then keep going. Two. And last one. Step back. Downward facing dog. Well done everybody. Roll the shoulders back. Take a few deep breaths. Then roll into a vinyasa as so roll yourself forward, plank, lower through your chaturanga. Flip the toes upward facing dog and big tuck downward facing dog. Well done. Take an inhale, the right leg lifts lovely and high, stepping it all the way to the top of the mat, dropping the left knee down. Relax the left toes, lift up through your arms, coming into our low lunge position. Maybe bouncing back and forth. Hold and breathe. Then tuck it through the left toe, lift through your left knee. Well done, hold and breathe, let's go. 10 pulses, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Place the hands to the top of the mat, step back plank position. Lower chaturanga. Flipping the toes upward facing dog. Big tuck of the toes, downward facing dog. Well done guys. Lion's breath if you need, so inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Lifting your left leg now, lovely and high, stepping it to the top of the mat, dropping the right knee down. Well done. Inhale, swooping the arms up and then begin to pulse yourself back and forth. Deep breaths. Tucking the right toes, press the weight through the left heel, hold and high. Good, draw your belly in, energy through your arms. Ten pulses, ten, nine, eight. Toes upward facing dog and big tuck of the toes downward facing dog. Well done, everybody. Take a few deep breaths. Option to drop to the knees if you need to. Take an inhale, lifting your right leg now, lovely and high, stepping it to the outside of the right hand. Drop the left knee down and relax the left toes. Well done. Start to pulse back and forth here, making some circles through your right side. And then bending into this right leg, lifting through your right side, twist yourself all the way up, energy through your right foot. Picking up your left foot, take hold of the foot, draw the leg in, keep twisting behind you. Well done, release that leg down. Place both hands to the center, you're gonna tuck the left toe and we're gonna pivot round so that we're on our left heel Toes are lifted, skandhasana. So with your right foot, make sure the right heel to the floor. Sink the bottom down and reach your hands forward. Take three deep breaths here. Make sure the right heel stays to the ground. Walking the hands out to the center of the mat, lifting yourself up into a wide-legged fold. Taking hold of the elbow and um, uh, ankles, pull yourself through the leg. and shoulders. Then coming into Skandasana over to the left side. So picking up your right toes, sinking down to the left side. Walk the hands all the way forward. Sink your bottom back. Very slowly from here, walking yourself around. We're going to come in to our twisted lizard. So right hand to the floor, lift through the left side, sink your hips forward. Well done guys, keep breathing. 
and then left hand to the floor, just start to pulse back and forth through this left side. Well done. Pressing the hands to the floor, tuck the right toe, let's step the left foot back, plank position. Lower Chaturanga. Flipping the toes up to face the dog, and then big tuck of the toes, downward facing dog. Well done, guys. Deep breath. Looking forward between the hands, you're going to jump, step or float the feet to the top of the mat, coming into a low squat pose. We sink the weight down, energy through the heels, hands of heart centre. Press the knees out with your arms and just sway yourself gently side to side. Well done. Super slow, you start to stand all the way up. Well done. Come into the top of the mat. Feet underneath hips, hands to your heart centre. Let's just take three deep breaths here. Close the eyes, relax the body. And then from here, gently fluttering the eyes open, you're going to press the weight into your left foot and draw your right knee into your chest. Hold and breathe here and then start to extend the leg out in front of you. Hold and breathe. Three, two, one. Now through the left leg, start to bend yourself all the way down to the floor. Sink your body all the way down. Well done. Reach the arms forward, try and take hold of the foot. If not, aim to get that way. Draw the forehead down. Fantastic. From here, you're going to interlace your hands to your left shin. With your right foot, we're going to draw up 10 times. Keep your spine nice and straight, and when you're ready, let's lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done, guys. Press the hands to the top of the mat. Step your right leg back. Left foot to the top, inhale, lift, high lunge position. Hold and breathe. Hands to the top of the mat, let's step back, plank position. Lower Chaturanga. Flipping the toes, upward facing dog. Big tuck of the toes, downward facing dog. Looking forward to the top of the mat, jump, step or float. Feet to the outside of the hands, low squat. Pressing the knees out, just sway yourself side to side. And then slowly start to send yourself all the way up. Fantastic, guys. So, coming to the other side, so hands to your heart center. Pressing the weight into the right foot, slowly start to take the left knee up. Extending the foot out in front of you, hold and breathe. Two, one, start to bend into your right leg, and then sink yourself to the floor. And then fold yourself forward, drawing your forehead down. Well done, guys. Slowly from here, interlace the hands through your right shin. With your left foot, we're going to lift up. Ten, nine, keep the back straight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, well done, drop that foot down, hands to the floor, step the left foot back, right foot forward, inhale, lift, high lunge position. Hands to the top of the mat, let's step back plank, lower chaturanga. Flipping the toes, upward facing dog, big tuck of your toes, downward facing dog. Well done everyone. Two to three of the deepest breaths of your practice. From here, we're going to roll ourselves to a plank position. Place the left hand to the centre and pivot the toes to the right. Start to lift your left arm nice and high. Keep the right hip nice. So from here, option to stay or lifting your left leg nice and high. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Left foot now steps behind you. Lift through the hips, coming into a wild thing. Reach your arm away from you, trying to press the right hand to the floor. And then from here, slowly stepping back into your plank position. Lower chaturanga. Flip the toes up with facing dog. Big tuck, downward facing dog. Two breaths. 
rolling yourself forward into a plank position, left hand to the centre, pivot the toes to the right, right arm lifts high. Option to stay here or lifting that right leg. Let's hold. Three, two, one. Set the right foot behind you as you lift your hips and reach up. Reach your right arm away. And then gently pivot all the way back to your plank position. Let's lower chest around. Flipping the toes upward facing dog. And from here, bend the knees back. Sink into your child's pose, forehead to the floor. Well done, guys. Take five deep breaths here. And then gently rolling ourselves all the way up to our knees. Well done, everyone. We're going to lift high to our shins now. So if you are new and you know your back, lower back is not as flexible yet, you're going to tuck your toes, lifting your heels up. If not, you can keep the feet down. Pressing the hands just around the hips, thumbs just above the base of your bottom into your coccyx. You're going to press the hips forward, drop the chest behind you, drop the head last. Keep breathing, keep opening through the chest. And then slowly lift yourself all the way back up. Sink the hips down, roll yourself forward. This time rising up. Now you can either take hold of your ankles or you can do what we did the last time. So press the hips forward and either staying here or taking one ankle and taking the other. Press the hips forward, drop the head behind, camel pose. Keep pressing the hips forward, open through your heart center. Deep belly breath. Well done, hands back to the back of the back. Sit yourself all the way down, well done, and reach your hands forward, child's pose, well done. Good. Look forward between the hands, tuck the toes, lift up, downward facing dog. Look forward between the hands, jump, step or float, crossing the feet. Sit the bottom down, but lift the arms, lift the legs, boat pose, let's hold ten. the feet to the floor, reach your hands all the way down, melt your forehead, melt the shoulders, deep belly breaths, relax everything down. Well then, take an inhale, lift yourself up, placing your left foot in towards your pelvis, your right foot's going to come out to the side. Keeping your torso and chest lifted over to the left side, your right hand's going to reach in, trying to hold the inner right foot. Left arm lifts all the way up and over, trying to touch the toes or aiming to get that way. Just keeping the chest elevated away from the floor. Deep breaths. Well done. Big inhale, rise. Left leg opens, right foot towards your pelvis this time foot in towards you and then keeping that torso twisted, lift all the way up and over. Well done, big inhale rise, all the way up. This time opening your legs lovely and wide, pressing your hips forward, sticking your bottom up behind you. Rotate your thighs forward and then start to walk your hands all the way down, melting the head, melting the shoulders. Keep your feet flexed wherever you are, or just keep them pointed, just as long as they're engaged, and then begin to fold yourself down. Well done, slowly walking yourself up, soles of the feet together, knees apart. Just start to draw the feet in towards the pelvis, interlace the hands underneath your feet, and just start to pulse the knees out. Deep belly breaths. Well done, gently flutter the eyes open, coming to light onto your back. You're gonna bend the knees, feet are just in line with your hips, coming into bridge pose. So arms are flat along the floor. You tilt the pelvis up to the ceiling and then start to roll the hips up. Squeeze your glutes, press the hips, 
chin towards the chest, everything is lovely and engaged. Hold and breathe for three, two, and one. Lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Well done. Gently rock the knees from side to side. This time I'm going to give you the option, you can either come to bridge again or you can come into full wheel. If you're coming into bridge, you can go ahead and do that now. Or coming into wheel, so hands underneath shoulders, elbows wrapped in. You firstly take an inhale and you come to the crown of the head. You walk your hands back underneath the shoulders and begin to lift yourself up into your wheel pose. Press the hands into the floor, try and walk the hands back as much as you can here. Keep looking, keep lifting, keep pressing the feet and hands to the floor. Hold them here, three, two, and one. Well done, extremely slowly you start to lower your back to the floor and then gently rock your knees from side to side. Well done everybody. Releasing your left leg to the floor, right knee to your chest. Sending that leg up towards the ceiling, flexing the foot and drawing the leg in towards you. Take a few deep breaths as you pull the leg in. Relax the muscles in your face. Slowly from here, bending the knee into chest, left hand is gonna draw the right knee over to the left side. Look over to the right and relax your right shoulder to the floor. Well done, super slowly drawing your knee to your chest. Give yourself a big hug and then changing sides. So left leg up towards the sky, flex the feet, energy through the heel, lock out the left knee, draw the leg in. Hold and breathe. Well done, bending the knee into your chest, take your right hand and draw the knee over to your right side. Look over the left shoulder and just make sure the shoulder stays to the ground. Well then, super slowly draw the knee back to your chest. Right knee back into the chest as well, big, big hug and then happy baby. Holding on to the soles of the feet, draw your knees down. Rock from side to side and give yourself a massive smile, really big smile, show your teeth. I know it feels weird, <laughs> but big smile, trick yourself into thinking you're happy. And then when you're ready, full body stretch. And then coming into your well-deserved Shavasana to get yourself lovely and comfortable. And just let your entire body begin to relax into the mat. Relax all the muscles in the face, all the way down to your fingers and your toes. Start to deepen the breathing. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug. Roll slowly to your right side and gently push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, palms to touch. Massive sigh as you draw our hands to your heart centre in prayer. Let's bow our heads with love, and gratitude and kindness for ourselves and everybody else around us. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.